want to speak a few moments about the power of prayer and how prayer can change his things. We look in the Torah and we see, for example, at Hannah, she was barren for years. And whenever she had a chance, she went to the temple and she prayed. And she asked Hashem, the teacher, to conceive a child. Now, her prayers weren't answered right away. We see it took years for her prayers to be answered. But her prayers were answered. And she did conceive a child. And we know who that child was. His name was Samuel, one of the greatest prophets in the Bible. We also could take a look at another prayer that was answered. We see Samson. He was tied to the post in the Philistine temple. And they were mocking him and whipping him. And he prayed to Hashem for strength to bring the Philistine temple down. And his prayers were answered. His strength was given to him where he brought the temple down. His prayers were answered. Then we look at David and Melech. We see that David and Melech has sinned. He had stolen another man's wife, Uriah the Hittite's wife. And he prayed and he prayed for forgiveness. His prayers weren't answered right away. But eventually we see his prayers were answered. He was given a son, Solomon, who was one of the greatest kings of all time. And then we see... There was somebody else I wanted to think about. Adapa, Daniel. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den. And he prayed for Hashem's protection. And all night he was in, in the lion's den. And not, not a job. The hair on his head was on. His prayer was answered. Hashem had protected him. So it shows the power of prayer. How we can change things if we pray. Maybe our prayers won't be answered in a moment. But if we have the connection to Hashem. If we keep his commandments, learn his Torah, and keep that connection open, our prayers will be answered too. And our prayers, our main prayer will be the end of Gullis and bring the Mashiach today. Amen. 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 Amen.